Pope Francis on Sunday called for peace in Ukraine during this Easter of War, as he delivered the traditional Easter Sunday Urbi Orbi address on St. Peter's Square at the Vatican. May there be peace for war-torn Ukraine, so sorely tried by the violence and destruction of the cruel and senseless war into which it was dragged, the pontiff said. Our eyes, too, are incredulous on this Easter of war. He said, may the leaders of nations hear people's plea for peace. Let there be a decision for peace, may there be an end to the flexing of muscles while people are suffering. Our hearts, too, have been filled with fear and anguish, as so many of our brothers and sisters have had to lock themselves away in order to be safe from bombing, Francis said. The pontiff pointed out that two years of the coronavirus pandemic had taken a heavy toll. It was time to come out of the tunnel together, hand in hand, pooling our strengths and resources. Instead, we are showing that we still have within us the spirit of Cain, who saw Abel not as a brother, but as a rival, and thought about how to eliminate him. Francis said he held in my heart all the many Ukrainian victims, the millions of refugees and internally displaced persons, the divided families, the elderly left to themselves, the lives broken and the cities razed to the ground. I see the faces of the orphaned children fleeing from the war. And he continued, may the conflict in Europe also make us more concerned about other situations of conflict, suffering and sorrow, situations that affect all too many areas of our world, situations that we cannot overlook and do not want to forget. Pope Francis on Sunday called for free access to the holy sites in Jerusalem as he delivered his annual Easter address amid simmering violence between Israelis and Palestinians in the holy city. May there be peace for the Middle East, racked by years of conflict and division. On this glorious day, let us ask for peace upon Jerusalem and peace upon all those who love her, Christians, Jews and Muslims alike, many Israelis, Palestinians and all who dwell in the holy city, together with the pilgrims, experience the beauty of Peace, dwell in fraternity and enjoy free access to the holy places in mutual respect for the rights of each, he said. Clashes between Palestinian demonstrators and Israeli police wounded 10 protesters on Sunday morning in and around Jerusalem's Flashpoint Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, the site of major clashes two days earlier, police said. The latest tensions in Jerusalem come as all three Abrahamic faiths mark major festivals, Jewish Passover, Christian Easter and the Muslim fasting month of Ramadan. Weeks of mounting tensions saw two deadly attacks by Palestinians in or near the Israeli coastal city of Tel Aviv in late March and early April, alongside mass arrests by Israeli forces in the occupied West Bank.